too. In this video, I'll be building the rear end. As you can see, we got the mid cab finished in that last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rear end finished in this video. I'll be strapping this buggy to my jig, which will be holding the shocks in position, which will be a lot easier than freestyling it. I'm gonna go ahead, put the shocks and sway bar on and get ready to design the rear end. To start off, I'm going to put a straight rod across the back using the back of the door bars as reference points to get it straight. But on that bar, I'll be sliding on two of these mounts. So it'll be like that, one right there. I'll also be drilling out these holes. That way, when the torsion bar is on, the torsion bar goes through there. I'm going to go ahead, get everything measured out cut, welded, and I'll see you on the next step. Now that the sway bar is on, I can go ahead and I can make the rear shock loops. Using the same mount that I mounted the sway tabs onto, I'm going to butt that up on there. And I'm going to put the line right where it meets the tab. So keep in mind though, which side you're going to put in the vise and which side is going to stick out. So in my case, this side will be in the vise, that way when I put it up to the line, the bend will actually end up a little bit back here. attach them. So when I lay this on right here I know that this lays flat this way but the one thing I need to mark is where it's gonna be right here so this ends up straight and not crooked at all. And now I've got my marks and I'll go on to welding. Now that I got those mounted on, I'm going to go ahead and tack the inside of the mounts on both sides. I'll also measure out and cut two bars to put here on both sides. side and butt a tube up like that and put them in the middle like so then I'll also right in here go in and put a rod in like that
get the ESC mount in, receiver box, battery tray, full weld, and she's done. In part three, you'll see the front end put together, and if it goes by pretty fast, I'll probably include the battery and ESC mount. But more than likely, I'll probably do a part four where I do all the mounting and the full weld and whatever else I needed to get done. So thanks for tuning in, and check out the next one coming out.